Hey guys, so just wanted to show you a recent breakthrough that I had. Uh, what I've got here is the 15 plus STI quick ratio steering rack. It's a 13 to 1 rack. Um, pretty decent upgrade over the stock 15 to 1. Um, now this rack is completely dimensionally the same, identical compared to the OEM rack that comes in the 08 to 14 WRX and STI. It's only the gearing inside that's different. So this will apply to all you GRGV uh, chassis guys out there. So my biggest gripe with the TSS fab subframe is that the rack mounts are square, where on the OEM subframe, the passenger side rack mount is um, semicircle. It's a half circle in there. And if you look at the OEM bushing on the passenger side it's a round bushing you know so how is that supposed to fit into a square hole well what I ended up doing originally was I got a rack bushing I think from like a 02 to 05 WRX it's a it's a flat bottom as you can see there and then a circle mount for the rack now this is only a decent solution because after you put this bushing in, the rack will still have slop up and down, which obviously you don't want. So you have to take a piece of metal of some sort and machine it down to about 90 thousandths to put underneath. And that's what that, that's what that gunk on there is. I actually um, used some RTV silicone to hold it all together while I was putting it together um, to take up the slack. But then, if you look at the bracket here, um, it's a little bit wider than the bushing, so you actually have to remove the ridge on the right side. So it's, it's a solution to do all that, but it's not a good solution. Now the recent breakthrough I had was I found a guy on the TSS Fab support page, and you may have seen him too, selling these semi-circle inserts that he machines himself. I've, I think he does. Now he advertised these as fitting the GD subframes with a 15 plus STI steering rack installed. Um, but actually, if you look at my uh, GR subframe, this fits in here like a glove. It fits in there perfectly. So the new solution that I have is install this. That gives the subframe that semicircle um, shape to fit into. Put your bushing on, your your OEM bushing for this rack, and I mean I can't do it all with one hand, but that fits in there like a glove. Takes up the square shape, and then you just use your um, clamp as designed, so it allows you to use the OEM bushing. So it fits in there perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. But I just wanted to share uh, this video with you guys who are having the same issue that I had. Uh, TSS Fab, they say that the GR subframe uses a different jig and thus there's no fitment issues. But as you can see, I'm still having fitment issues. So in, unless I'm the only man out there who's having issues, I wanted to make this video just to show you guys what I did. Alright, so here it is installed. The bushing did deform very slightly on that right side. You can see it's poking out a little bit, but that's okay because the rack is held in very securely. It does not move at all. It's, it's centered. It's where it needs to be, uh, and that's the important thing. There you have it. Fits like a glove.